Are you looking to build a beautiful website in Kajabi? Or maybe you've made a website and you're looking at it like, hmm, it's not looking so good. Well, today I'm going to share seven hacks to building a beautiful website that you probably didn't know about. And the last tip, if you've already started making your website, is maybe why it's not looking so good. So be sure to stay to the end. All right, are you ready? Let's dive in. What's up, it's Danny. I have turned my YouTube community into an over six figure business using the power of Kajabi. If you haven't yet, follow along using my extended 30 day trial and that will give you immediate access to my zero to 10K course roadmap that teaches you how to make your first $10,000 in course sales. Okay, here we go. Before we begin, I first think it's important to understand what's the difference between the website and a landing page in Kajabi. So when you log into Kajabi, if you go to website, you'll notice it says website or landing pages. And so the website pages are the pages that are like your main navigator pages, your homepage, your blog post page, questions about you, contact, that sort of a thing, where they offer more like general information and you have a navigation bar that goes in between those pages. Now, landing pages are pages where your goal is to just keep people on that page to lead them into just one thing. So one specific call to action. And these are gonna be the main pages that you're using on Kajabi. I honestly think you don't really even need a website anymore. Nowadays, what you're mainly gonna be creating is a landing page, a sales page where people go to it, they learn what you're offering, you've got a little about you within the landing page, and then you're getting them to buy your course, your product, your free download, whatever it may be. So I'm gonna be focusing on landing pages right now, but these things I'm doing, you can also apply to your website. It's, there, it's all a website, but we're gonna be in this landing pages section. I wonder if you wondered what was the difference between the two, because I did for the longest time, so now you know. Now, just a PSA, if you want a full step-by-step -step in how to create an amazing sales page, be sure to check out this video that even comes with a template of the copy that you should put in to get people to want to buy your product, course, or service. It's so good, so don't forget to check that out after. Now, important preface, when creating landing pages, I highly recommend that you use a template to base things off of. This is gonna make it look so much more beautiful and make it easier to make it look beautiful. Now, the template that I love the best, if we go to landing pages and I were to create a new landing page, you'll see if you scroll down, they have different templates. Like here's a sales template. I really love the Taylor template or the Prosper template. Both of these I think are really nice and you can kind of, tweak them to look however you want, even if it's a different type of page. You can delete different sections, but it has pretty much everything in there that you need to create a really beautiful website as the base and then add in your own thing. So just something to note. If you're looking for a template, I recommend Taylor or Prosper. Now, the first hack to building a beautiful website in Kajabi is using fixed images. So if I were to go into one of my website pages, landing pages, you'll notice that you can add background images. So if I hit this section here, you can see I can click background and there are options for the images. So I can make the position the top, or center bottom. And if I click fix background, you'll see that the picture doesn't move. It stays the same and the text moves over it. I think this look can make your website look that much more expensive and like, ooh, bougie in a way that's not overwhelming. I highly, highly discourage you from adding loads of different animation, like text zooming in. That is gonna potentially make your course look a little bit cheap or cheesy, and we don't want that. We want things to look nice and expensive. We want people to feel like, ooh, this is something I can invest in, right? So the fixed image, I think, can be a really nice look. So give that a try and see if you like it. I already added it down here, so I think I like to have it not be necessarily on my first page, but then if I have pictures later on, I will make them fixed. So if we click into here, you'll see when I scroll down, background image, if I hit that fixed image, just makes it look so nice. Now, going along with this, the second hack for a beautiful website in Kajabi is to make sure that your pictures look similar. They have a similar theme, they have a similar filter, they have similar coloring. This is really gonna help your website look more beautiful and not look a mess, like there's all these different things going on. So you'll notice if we go onto my landing page here, 
all of my pictures have a very similar vibe and coloring. And that's because these are all from one photographer. Now I want to be clear though that I totally know that you may not have a bunch of photos all done from the same photographer. So what could you do if that's not the case for you? Well, you could use this website with copyright free photos called pexels.com. So if I go to pexels, you'll see it is royalty free images and video. So I could search for photos and let's see, maybe my brand is for a hair salon. So I could put, put hair salon in here and I could maybe find a picture that I think would be good for my site, maybe like a barber or something. And if I scroll down, I could see more like this and we see that that's the same sort of vibe. And what you could even do is I can go to that photographer and because it's all one photographer, I can get an idea of some work that kind of fits this similar imagery and usually photographers will use the same kind of filters on things. You could also download apps where you put your own filters on the images and kind of make them all the same so that it feels like it flows. But this is a really easy way of adding in images that look great that you can use as backgrounds for your website and royalty free. The third hack to build a beautiful website in Kajabi it has to do all with your call to actions. Now, of course, when you have any sort of sales page or landing page, you want to make sure you have clear call to actions throughout. So number one, I recommend whenever you have a button that it's always the same color. Don't have buttons throughout your page to different things. Make sure your call to action is on one specific thing. Usually your sales page is just trying to get people to do one thing, right? If you've got a bunch of things going on, that's gonna be confusing. So keep your call to actions the same color. You'll notice here, all my call to actions on this page are always yellow. They really stand out. So I recommend using whatever accent color you have for your branding for the buttons. Brighter is always better as well, so they really pop. Now, another pro hack with call to actions is you can actually make your call to actions go to specific parts of your website. So if I were to click on this button, I can click call to action. And if I click it, include call to action, it's what makes it pop up. And I've obviously made it the color that I want it to, but you can see here where it says button action, I will click go to a section on this page and I will have it go to pricing. And so if you didn't know that you could do this where you could have a button that goes to a specific part of your page, this makes your website that much more sophisticated and flow a lot better. And last with call to actions, I highly recommend if a button on your page is going somewhere else, make sure you click on for it to open in a new page. So for example, if I go down to to my pricing, this is gonna to go to a different page and you'll see it says join now and it's gonna to go to a URL, this sales page. And I wanna make sure I click open in a new tab. This is really nice because people then can just easily go back to the sales page if they wanna read more about whatever it is your product or service or course is about and then still have the offer page open as well to be able to buy from you. So if I were to look at this, let's work together. And then I were to hit join now, you can see it pops up in a new page, but I still have my other tab open as well. The fourth hack to building a beautiful website in Kajabi is to add your brand colors and settings. So it's that much easier to make sure that things flow for your website page. So you may have noticed, like if I were to click on the button here, my call to action, and you could see if I were to pick button background color, see how my brand colors pop up down below. So it's really easy for me to click on one of these. Well, I set that up in settings. So if I were to go to my Kajabi page and hit settings here, I can hit site details, scroll down and you'll see colors. And this is where you can create your color palette and you can click in, add the hex code for whatever your branding colors are and it's gonna show up whenever you edit your site. It makes it so much easier. So definitely add these in so you're not always adding in hex codes when you are editing your website. You're welcome. The fifth hack to making a beautiful website in Kajabi is to add your own custom font. So for me, I have a custom font that is Wanderlust and that's definitely not in Kajabi's font book. So if you have a beautiful brand font that you're like, oh, I'm so bummed I can't use it because Kajabi doesn't have it, you can actually manually add it in. Now, it might feel a little overwhelming, but I promise you it's way easier than this is gonna sound because you're just gonna need to code 
just a tiny bit. There is a video that Kajabi has that breaks this down way better than I ever will. So I'm going to put that in the comments below, but I'll break it down here for you as well. But if you wanna watch that Kajabi training, I'll have it down below too. So I recommend to go to somewhere like Creative Market. So in Creative Market, there's loads of different fonts that you can choose from. So like this editor's note one, oh, I think it's just so beautiful. But if you hit fonts, you can see all different types of fonts that you can choose from. So let's say I really like this male one. If I want the web font, it's $23. So I would pay for that font and then I would download it. And then what you'll need to do from there after you download it is you will go into your websites and you'll create a landing page for just called assets that you'll always leave unpublished. So you're gonna create a new landing page called assets, but I already have my assets landing page. So let me just go to it. Yep. See, it's just on draft. I recommend just leaving this on draft forever, but new landing page, make it just the asset page. And then from here, what you'll do is you're going to add a section and you can just add a call to action. And then for this call to action button, I'll hit add and I'm going to hit the call to action and the text, I'm going to put whatever the font name is, just so I remember that's what it is. So I would put maybe whatever this one was called. And then I am going to put download a file and then I'm gonna pick a file and I'm going to add in my font. So let's say here I've downloaded the font, I'm going to upload it here and I'm going to hit save. You can see that's what I've already done here with Wanderlust. So I've gone in and I picked the file, I've downloaded it here and I've got the file. So I will hit then copy link address. From there, you're going to hit back. You'll go to this article and I have this linked for you, like I said as well, but you're going to scroll down and you're going to download the custom code. I'm going to copy this. And where it says the URL, I am going to add the URL that I got from my asset page from that downloadable link that I had, where I added the call to action, where I've got the downloadable file. I'm going to copy link address, and then I will add that into where it says URL. Badoop. And then that will change my heading one if I copy this in to my settings. So if I go back to my landing pages, I go to settings, site details, and I scroll down to page scripts. You'll see here this H stands for heading one. So if I were to go in to my landing page here, you'll see that no matter what, if this was formatted as heading two, it should stay in that font. There we go, heading three, we can see heading four, it'll all stay in the Wanderlust font because I am going to take this, copy it, and I'll paste it and just change this H2, and then I'll paste it again for here and change it to H3. So these H's all stand for the headings if you want all those headings to change, and if you want it to change into the paragraph font, you can do that as well. It's all gonna be linked in that article that I have. So if you follow those instructions step-by-step, step, I promise you it's actually quite easy to add in your own personal font. And it just makes your website, I think, look so much more beautiful. Oh, okay, well, what heading was I? That was not heading two. Yeah, there we go. Looks beautiful. Okay. Now the sixth tip to building a beautiful website in Kajabi has more to do with the logistics of it rather than the beauty, but having a high SEO website is also beautiful. So you need to make sure you add SEO and social sharing to your Kajabi page. How do you do that? Well, you're going to go back to your landing pages and what you will do is you want to go to edit details and you will scroll down and you want to fill out this SEO and social sharing page. So you'll create a page title, a page description and make sure it has searchable terms in there. Like you'll notice for this, I use YouTube coach, YouTube coaching program a lot through this because it helps it show up in search. I'll add an image that can show up and then I make sure it's toggled on to show page in search results and I'll hit save. And so like, for example, if I were to Google the Magnetic Creator Academy, 
you can see that boom, it pops up right away. This is through Kajabi and you'll see introducing the Magnetic Creator Academy, your step-by-step -step YouTube blueprint to be found by your dream clients for years to come. So really important that you add that to make sure that your website is optimized. The seventh and probably most important tip that I have in making your Kajabi website more beautiful and more viable is to simplify it. The main issue that I see with new YouTubers, new course creators, new sales pages is that we always try and do too much. We put so much out that it actually makes things less appealing. Look at your website. Are there too many pictures? Are there too many words? Are there too many buttons? Well, you should have a lot of call to action buttons going to the same place, but are there too many buttons going to a bunch of different places? You want to say, is this streamlined? Is this taking people through just one stream of thought, getting them to do the one thing that I want on this page? If you look through it and anything feels not necessary or kind of detracts from what you're trying to do, it's clutter, delete it. This is why I highly recommend that you watch my video on how to create a solid sales page in Kajabi. It goes through step-by-step -step what your page needs to have in it and even the wording that I recommend to put in in order to best sell your services or course. So definitely give that a watch after this. But just remember, keep the branding simple, use crisp photos that go together, add in these little tweaks that I have shared and your website is sure to be so lovely. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. And if this video is helpful for you, it is so helpful for me. If you give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe and I will see you next video. All right, bye.